It's Community Pride Day. Perfect moment to talk indirect acting cholinomimetics. So, what do I mean by indirect acting? Well, the actions of acetylcholine released from autonomic and somatic motor nerves are terminated by enzymatic hydrolysis, which is accomplished by acetylcholinesterase at cholinergic synapses. While direct acting cholinergic agents act upon the acetylcholine receptor, indirect acting cholinomimetics bind either reversibly or irreversibly to acetylcholinesterase, thereby increasing the concentration of acetylcholine at the synapse. Remember our symbol for acetylcholine? That's right, the crisp, cool bottles of acetylcholine, of course. Well, acetylcholinesterase is kind of like this bottle return dumpster here, consuming the acetylcholine bottles that had been strewn about the synapse, stopping their effects. Oh, and watch where you step. This knocked over bottle return dumpster is kind of like the effect of a cholinesterase inhibitor, don't you think? The acetylcholine bottles spilling into the street reminiscent of how cholinesterase inhibitors increase concentrations of endogenous acetylcholine at the synapse. And yeah, we get it. You're trying to stick it to the man, Tony Hawk style. Do you really have to stick it to the bottle collection, man? Anti-establishment, more like anti-esterase. See the word stigma across the bottom of the skateboard? Sketchy's own foray into skateboard decks. Or maybe a little reminder of the suffix stigmine, which will be incorporated into the names of the cholinesterase inhibitors we're about to cover. But not all the stigmines are alike. There are synthetic quaternary ammonium agents, such as pyridostigmine and neostigmine, which have negligible distribution into the CNS, and we also have a naturally occurring tertiary amine, physostigmine, which, as we'll soon see, has clinically significant CNS penetration. Because cholinesterase inhibitors merely amplify the actions of endogenous acetylcholine, the effects are similar to the direct-acting muscarinic agents that we encountered downtown, including effects on the eye, respiratory tract, GI tract, and urinary tract. However, anticholinesterase agents also increase activation at nicotinic receptors. See this striated skeletal muscle brick wall? While direct-acting muscarinic agonists have no therapeutic value at the nicotinic receptors of the neuromuscular junction, cholinesterase inhibitors can intensify the actions of physiologically released acetylcholine, leading to increased strength of contractions. 